Hello everyone, this is Alicia from workersonboard.com and in today's video you will find out how you can get paid to read and score test from your home office. This is a legitimate work at home job opportunity that pays $18 per hour. I will give you the details about that and also another job that I think a lot of you all would be interested in it is entry level again it's a non-phone work at home job and it's from a company that needs people to evaluate calls emails and chats from your home office they also provide you with some tips that I'm really excited to share with you that will help you to get hired to work for that company but you could also use those to apply to other positions and incorporate these tips because it will help you to be offered a position so I'm going to share that with you as well as some other companies that are hiring people to work from home and how you can save money at the gas pump gas prices are rising not only just there but also when you go buy to buy groceries they're rising there as well so you can save money and get cash back from your groceries and also from your gas and even if you go out and eat at restaurants so I'll tell you about that as well as some other apps that will pay you cash and free gift cards to do various things so before I get into that please make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already and you can also join this channel and give me a thumbs up if you like the content that I'm sharing or if you watched a previous video and you like the content. Thank you so much for doing so. I appreciate you all so very much. Now I'm going to get right into these jobs really quickly. The first one that I talked about, this job is titled a hand score. And so you will find some companies that hire scores or test scores but this is a hand score test evaluator that this company which is actually Kelly my Kelly jobs are Kelly services they have a client that needs people to read and then score test from students through grades K through 12 and these are standardized tests that they will take that could be in the subjects of reading, writing, math, social studies, and science. And so they need remote hand test readers to read those tests and then score them based on the guidelines that you will receive. This is a temporary project. It starts next month. It pays $18 per hour. You will be working during the day, Monday through Friday, from 8.30 a.m to 4 p.m. Now I'm not sure if that's Eastern Standard Time um, but you'll know more as you get closer to working this job from home. I'm not really sure. I would assume it is but I'm not exactly sure if that's correct or not. But you will have weekends off and um, it's an entry level job. They do require you to have a bachelor's degree from an accredited institution or college or and so if you do and you're interested in doing this from home because you're going to read from a computer screen, sit for several hours at a time scoring these tests. So they do want you to have a quiet work environment so that you won't be distracted and you'll be able to score those tests accurately. They also have a similar job that's similar to the one that I just mentioned. Again, like I said, it... um they're hiring people to do this from home and it starts next month pretty much entry-level job non phone and you can apply to this position position I actually posted it first on the weekly job page where you can go and find at workersonboard.com this one too even though it lists a different state it's full-time but they give you a little bit more details as far as the project and what you're going to be doing, evaluating and assigning scores to open-ended student responses. And um, again, you're going to be scoring these tests in various subjects. So um, 
you know, if you, if, like I said, if you're looking for a non-phone entry level job and you have at least a bachelor's degree or you enjoy home-based educational projects, please make sure you apply online. You will be trained to evaluate these tests and you have the flexibility to work either full or part-time but again it pays $18 an hour. Also there is another job from a company I'm not sure exactly how this is pronounced um, but this company is looking for quality and analysts to work from home so it's similar to some other jobs that I mentioned where you will evaluate calls from another company they're not currently hiring right now but this one is so if you're looking for a part-time non-phone entry-level job please apply to this company you will be working at least four hours a day it does not require for you to work weekends at all they also give reasonable accommodations to those who with disabilities so if you're watching this video and you happen to be disabled then please don't let that stop you from applying to companies this is one of the companies that you can apply to online here you're going to basically perform audits on calls emails and chats and you're going to review and grade customer interactions and observe their soft skills and also help customers engage their satisfaction with the call and that's what your job duties are really encompasses for this particular position so again this is an entry-level job although they will provide you with training and that's gonna um, involve some period of weeks of time that you're going to be trained and it's all done remotely so you don't have to worry about traveling on site and then transition to working from home everything's going to be done remotely your breaks will be administered while you're going through training and the training is Monday through Friday and it's at least four to five hours a day Eastern Standard Time and then when you start working you're going to also be working Monday through Friday and they have two different schedules you can either work from 8 to 12 or 1 to 5 on Eastern Standard Time Zone. So for this job, they are looking for people with basic computer skills. You also need strong written communication skills, good grammar. You, you're going to need to type at least 35 words a minute with 85% accuracy. If you don't know what your typing speed is, you can go to the typing speed page or typing page on workersonboard.com or you can visit any other website that has a typing test the one that i made was was tailored to working from home and it's really simple on um to help you to gauge what your speed is so um it's an easy typing test um that i thought that would be helpful for you to at least know what your speed is so you can take that test and find out today what your typing speed is you also need some technical skills and good judgment skills so that you can evaluate these calls but again there's no experience required here and I really like this particular job opportunity not only because it's entry-level non-phone and it's part-time for those who have demands on their schedule but this company actually gives you tips that will help you to ace your interview now it's going to be on camera but they do tell you some things that you will want to definitely incorporate and consider before you're asked to interview with the company and you can apply these tips to any position that you would apply to online from any company so if you're asked to do a virtual conference with the company make sure your internet connection and video are working properly prior to and then you would want to dress appropriately because you're going to be seen on camera and this is the only way that they can evaluate or have an assessment of who you are they're going to look at things like your home office they're probably going to evaluate what's in your surroundings if it's tidy and neat and uncluttered and 
They're going to be evaluating, of course, your appearance and your responses as well. So just make sure that you're dressed appropriately and that you do some research on the company to see what this company is about so that you can be prepared to ask them questions and also be prepared to answer questions that you can anticipate them asking you. And that's why they recommend that you rehearse your responses to key interview questions. Also, make sure you give eye contact. That's very important when it comes to getting hired to work for a company because they want to be able to see that you're engaged with the interview and the interviewer. You're enthusiastic, you smile, and you're personable, and that you don't have any distractions that would hinder that interview. So if you have your phone nearby, make sure you have it silenced or you turn it off during the interview. Now, if you want to read a full review about this company, their industry, and a lot of people who currently work there, although this job doesn't state exactly how much you're gonna make, you could possibly find out on glassdoor.com. Now, it actually gives a high salary range, and I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but people who work there have said that the pay is really well here. So um, this is a job, like I said, it's a part-time job. It was just listed four days ago. Make sure you apply because they definitely need people to do this from home. And you can apply, just manually fill in, fill in your information when you click the apply button below, or you could just um, upload your resume. Now, this job was actually posted today on the weekly job page. Actually, I didn't post this today. I have another job from this company here. This is called a temporary data processor, but it's really data entry. And so that's a data entry job from them. But I posted it on my home page where I wrote a full review about the company. And I will link that in the description below this video as well as the weekly job page so that you can apply to additional work at home job leads. There is a data entry position from Purdue University because you're going to enter data of transcripts as well as other data. And I am sure this job's going to go really fast. So please apply today if you can or as soon as possible. Pitney Bowes is looking for call handlers to work from home. They're, they're going to provide you with all your computer equipment and peripherals, and you're going to receive calls, emails, and chats from clients to identify their needs and answer questions. There's also another job from this company called Answer Aid. They're looking for answering service agents to work from home. They're going to handle after hour and overflow calls. And if you live outside of the United States, there is a company called W Games that are looking for chat hosts to work from home. They're hiring worldwide. You're going to be communicating with their app users via chat, another non-phone job. You will also engage and post, post engaging content on their communities and answer questions and comments. So if, you know, if you don't see anything that you um, find interesting here. Just continue to scroll down because some of these companies still have openings that I posted previously that you can apply to online. Now, if you're looking to save money at the pump, this app I highly recommend GetUpside will help you to get cash back. When you download the app, make sure you put in the code, which I'll link it in the description, capital A-L-I-C-I-A-7572. Because if when you do, then you're going to get an additional, when you go and fill up on gas wherever you live, you'll get up to 30 cents cash back off each gallon of gas that you purchase. Plus, they were doing an incentive for new users where they will give you $2.22 up front. I'm not sure if that's still active, but definitely put in the code so that you can um, activate that 30 up to 30 cents cash back off each gallon of gas that you get. Now, I've been using this app for quite a while and I've been able to generate income just from getting gas alone. They also 
You can also earn here to get cash back when you buy groceries and you upload your receipt or restaurants. And it's really simple here to earn a little bit of cash back. Like I said, especially on gas, because I, I realize gas, even where I live, is going up extremely high, probably where you live too. That may be the case, but you can save by using this app. So definitely make sure you check it out. Again, like I said, you can also save when you buy groceries and just scan your receipt. Also, if you eat out at restaurants, you don't have to have any coupon codes or anything like that. So it's really simple and they have a lot of restaurant partners that they work with, depending upon where you eat, get paid to eat and drink with GetUpside. Now there's some other apps. Now this is also in this post that I wrote, but there are some other apps that you can use that will either give you cash up front, plus you can get cash when you use them, and other perks, free gift cards, or just plain old cash here that you can check out if you, um, you know, have a smartphone and, you know, you wouldn't mind earning some extra cash to use their app. So definitely make sure you check out for that. I will link this article in the description as well. Again, I will be posting brand new work at home jobs tomorrow on the weekly job page at workersonboard.com and also home base mommy. So come there so that you can find out some additional work at home job leads from real companies hiring people to work from home. And if you have any comments or questions, Please feel free to leave me those right below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so and make sure you check out for my next video. Thanks for watching.